Hey guys, just want to make this very quick video about two things that I think is kind of like the bottlenecks uh, in the new iPad 2 yeah, and I'm going to focus on one bottleneck the most and the first one isn't really a bottleneck, it's just a, a thing that some people seem to be annoyed about and yeah, so the first thing is the screen on the iPad 2 you have the same screen a resolution as you had on the iPad 1. iPad 1. Yeah, do you say iPad 1? I'm quite sure. But on the iPad 1 we had resolution 1024 times 768. Okay, and we have the same now in iPad 2. So basically what does that mean? Well, it means that right now the 10 inch Motorola Zoom tablet it got the resolution of 1280 times 800 so you can see that this Motorola Zoom tablet it have a little higher resolution and yeah so th th that's one thing that some people seem to be annoyed about and they are saying that the screen resolution is still kinda low I mean it, it, it's not bad but it's not like good you know, like extremely good or something like that it's 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 okay I suppose some people don't think about it that much but that, that wasn't really my main point of this video but that's one thing that people want to see they want to see this written display I think that Apple could you know one reason why they don't use the use or make this written display is first of all it's it's hard and second of all I think that would bump up the price of the iPads and I don't think Apple want to do that and at least not now this tablet year when everyone released their tablet I think Apple is trying to keep the same price as they had last year and you know just keep doing what they did so people continue to buy their products then they don't want to make a over expensive tablet like the Motorola Smooth Face 100 sorry I'm bashing at Motorola but yeah so that is one of the reasons why I don't think that Apple didn't unveil or had this HD Retina display as they have on the iPhone 4 so yeah and then we have the thing that some people are getting kind of worried about right now and that is that the iPad 2 does it only have or ha has it only 256, 256 megabytes in RAM now, Apple didn't say anything about the RAM, they didn't have it as like a bullet on their little keynote either, so, I mean, if they aren't talking about it, that most of the times, if they don't talk about something, that means that it's not like something extremely good, but 256 megabyte for a tablet that you should use, or that they have this new program called GarageBand, where you could like edit, or yeah, iMovie as well, where you can like edit videos and stuff like that. Do you, I'm, not, I'm not sure, but the tablet with only 256 megabytes doesn't sound that much. I think the Motorola Zoom comes with one gigabyte. Um, 256, yeah. So right now we can compare it to the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 got 512 megabytes, and the iPhone 4 was made in 2010, or maybe even beginning of 2009. I don't know. No, not the beginning of 2009, but the end of 2009. But seriously, that's a mobile. That's a smartphone. This is a tablet. It's bigger. Doesn't it require require like more RAM? So, you know, yes, this is the rumor. We we really don't know if it's only 256 megabytes. I really do hope that it's at least. 512 megabytes and we should also remember that you can't really compare this device to the iPhone 4 is because this new iPad 2 got a better processor as well that could probably do some hardcore work so maybe you don't need that much RAM with this new dual core or something like that I'm not sure but that could be one of the bottlenecks yeah but I mean as, as long as the tablet works as long as every single app works as it should as long as we don't hear people having problems like lag issues or multitasking issues that's the, the thing that I keep worrying myself about that 256 megabyte that's not enough if you have a lot of multitasking and maybe you do video editing stuff like that yeah, so I really do hope that it's at least 512 megabytes. I really don't want a bottleneck like that because then I may not buy this device. I'm not even sure if I'm going to buy it, but if it would have 256 megabytes, you know, 
I, I don't want that. I don't want that. At least 412 megabytes. Okay, so now I talked a lot about that, but I just want to make a video where I try to say some of the things that isn't that good or isn't that good. Actually, we haven't even seen this device, how it performs, so actually I shouldn't really talk that much about it. I mean, Apple is really focusing, the, the, Apple isn't focusing on specs, Apple is focusing on the overall experience, and hopefully, or most of the time, they're really good at this. I mean, they, they don't care about megapixels or something like that on their cameras, they just focus on the overall exper experience so they could, you know, make people buy their products and then when they're happy with the products then they you know the Apple is transforming them to a customer that always like keep buying the products so yeah but it's going to be very interesting and when we find out how much RAM it got I'm probably going to make a video or something like that about it so yeah just some small thoughts about that so yeah see you.